Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Parkitect where we do something a little bit different today, we have a bit of a longer um, time lapse because uh, pretty much the general consensus from the last episode was that what I'd done was horrific and I was awful and and it was bad and I should feel bad. <clears throat> okay, it wasn't quite that bad. Uh, but like you said that, you know what, well a few people were like, it looks like poo colour, uh, <laughs> which you know, is just wood colour, but I apologise, I'm colour blind so I sometimes miss the mark a little bit with colours. Uh, a few people said, oh you know, we've kind of seen the sort of sh wooden shack a few times now and uh, some people were like well, I really like the sort of uh, the steel contraptions that they've got going on and basically all the comments led to the fact that I needed to have a bit of a redo of this so that's what we're doing we're starting with a redo of this um, basically clearing out the old um, roof pieces and changing the colour of uh, of the old spikes leaving the sort of I, I still quite like the idea that it's there as as like um supplies for a, for an arctic trip or whatever so i'm uh, keeping keeping all that um but just sort of changing the uh, the wood framing to more of this sort of uh, like steel uh steel casing kind of build and uh here we're doing a a food food a first food shop and uh and kind of doing this sort of i suppose it's like a hanger isn't it really like a hanger kind of vibe to it um using the uh, the bit of detailing that they've done there on the entrance and copying it over uh, one thing you may well notice here even though it's in time lapse i did I, I forget to actually set the shops to be anything so all the time luckily it was paused for most of the time but for a good while the, 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 nobody was able to get anything they wanted see i put these i always use these custom ones if i can because they're very often a little less uh sort of uh, what's the words you know they don't stick through. the big ones are proper sort of old school roller coaster coon ones where they where things spike up and at the top drinks and hot dogs and all that so i use these customizable shops instead uh, but just forgot to actually set them to be anything so for a while they sit empty unfortunately um but in the end we get there these are quite cool these these they almost look like they're solar powered um lights which i think would fits the theme quite a lot really actually you know sort of lack of power and all that solar power would actually be quite a decent way of doing it and then we add in a uh, another flat ride just a twister keeping it real simple here but i quite like um the, the because of the because of the uh, terrain it automatically put it up on the uh up a little bit and i was like yeah we'll, we'll go with that rather than mess with the train too much we'll we'll work it um we'll work that into it being high up so uh, we do that and then uh, again just keeping the, the the design really quite light and covering the uh, the queue in uh, in the spe in the sort of theme that we've already done to be honest with you and then we go on to do the main chunk of this episode uh, which is um a bobsleigh coaster uh, which is which was really quite fun to build actually. So we're going to get onto that in just a minute. Uh, but first of all, here we go. We're sort of taking this. I quite like this sort of the way it curves into the ride. I think that looks pretty neat. And then in a few areas, we just do slightly raised bits there, just to kind of break it up with some slight height variation, uh, and then make the whole thing look a bit more sort of icy. And I think we get it open. All right, here we go. Um, building the bobsleigh. Then this is a funny one. This was. Um, it's really interesting because this this can crash and can quite easily crash as well if you get the speed wrong on it it'll basically just fly off the top so it took a while to uh, to get this one going i'm not basing it on anything the only thing i know about these really is that they're mostly just sort of lots of curves and lots of helixes and and stuff like that so it kind of kept it pretty simple um just occasionally raising it up to take a bit of uh, speed out of it see here i think this original one here that we do uh, they, they they just come flying off the thing. It's like it's crazy. Um, so yeah, we keep it. We think we go back and take that. I think it's this one here. This loop here just keep just picks up the speed too much, and they come flying off the edge. So um, we go back and change it a little. Um, is that is that the audio cutting out, or is that me pressing the wrong button? Oh, there we go. Sorry, I don't know what's happening there. Um, yeah, there we go. So we finish it, and I don't. It isn't till the the actual um, ghost train gets round, I think. But then here you'll see, wee, there it goes flying off. <laughs> so we come back and uh, basically just have another go at the end one here, uh, lifting the thing up a little bit, and just taking out a bit of the uh, a bit of the speed before it comes into the final break. And it means we do get this slight tunnel area. And um, I was tempted to get rid of it, but I thought, no, do you know what? That's going to be a real issue to get rid of because it basically means you're lifting the whole ride up uh, or, well, I don't know, really, trying to get rid of the water somehow, I guess. So I was like, no, do you know what? We'll leave it. And then I thought about covering it in rocks. I was like, no, do you know what? We'll keep it, we'll keep it metal because it kind of 
fits the theme almost, this sort of industrial theme. We'll have some water coming off it and we'll keep it relatively lightly themed as these sort of um, steel gates that go over. I don't really know what I was trying to do there with it really, but um, it looks fine, I guess. <laughs> uh, and then the station, again, keeping the sort of uh, that, that hangar um, sort of like blue and, and silver metal uh, to kind of sort of tie it all together really. And uh, yeah, it turns out quite well. Stats are pretty good. It's quite exciting. It's very uh, low intensity though, so it doesn't get everyone flying on it. Uh, the good thing is though, it, I did just sort of leave it running for a little while, and it did manage to sort of earn the park a bit of money. So uh, we are able to uh, to carry on now, and maybe just put maybe one or two more flats down, because all we have to do really now is get some people in the park. This this uh, this coaster and the flats we have gets about 200 in the park I think and we need to get 500 to complete the level so it's really now just a case of of, uh, of sort of expanding really our scale. Uh, I call the ride the supply run because it kind of fits the whole idea of, of, of this sort of uh, arctic trip and we can uh, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me we can place some supplies around. Right let's cut to a, uh, a real time section then and, uh, and see where we're up to. So this is what we're looking at. Um, <clears throat> so the game's paused. One thing I had done is I got a little bit of fence here. So everyone that came off the cinema got stuck in there. So I got rid of that fence and it just went... <laughs> and people flooded out. So um, so at the moment, I think what most people are thinking about the whole thing is that there are no high intensity rides. And uh, can't they carry these resource crates somewhere else? Well, nobody should be seeing resource crates. Ah that we made a shop that was going to be an info that was going to be an info place ah okay um we were going to make that one an info kiosk does it still need park oh it still needs park maps okay um hmm that doesn't really help us then does it because that means everything that gets delivered there is going to uh to come via that way um huh because there's a toilet behind it. There, there's a toilet. So do we need to maybe do a carry on the staff path around the back here? That's really annoying. I didn't even think about that. Tempted, to be honest with you, just to get rid of it and maybe stick two toilets there. In fact, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's do that. Let's stick that there. Get rid of you. Get rid of the shop itself. And come into here and stick a second toilet in. There we go. What does that do for decoration? It's probably not. It's not great. See, the problem is they just if they get a copper look at that path, they just hate it. Um, let's put a fence around it. There we go. Let's get some um, just plain, plain fence. There we go. And we do something like this. There we go. So that makes a huge difference already. Just the fact that they can't see it. It goes. I don't think it goes that far, so I think we're okay there. Um, and then we'll get some uh, trees in. Um, let's just let's just pick the ones from here. There we go. We're not going to be able to do much there, are we? Because it's pretty much a straight run. But we can at least kind of try and. Oh, that's not right at all. We can at least try and help cover it a little. There we go. They're pretty happy about that. Now there's nowhere over here that can see up there, so that's fine. And although the uh, the toilets are there, it doesn't seem to be causing a major issue. Okay. Um, so decoration's fine. Rain protection, like I say, relatively covered. It does get wet here. If I'm honest with you, no actual rides apart from that one that's under in rain protection. So might look at doing some more rain protection. Vandalism doesn't seem to be an issue yet either. Okay. Right then, let's have a look what rides we've got. We've got a carousel, um, increased popularity during rain. That's pretty good. Um, anything here? We, I mean, we can cover a lot of these up. The jumper, we can cover up uh, pretty well. I'm not thinking we're going to do another coaster here, to be honest with you. Okay, so let's go for the jumper then. So the problem is we've kind of built ourselves into a bit of a corner here. Um, really, the, the plan really should be to move over to either this island along here uh, or or this island along a mighty mighty bridge i think maybe a mighty bridge might be the way to go we could always stick a jumper here 
and have that as the uh, as the corner point that leads us across the bridge if we need it. I think we are going to need it. I think we're going to have to move to a new area and maybe a second coaster. Actually, thinking about it. Um, all right, so here's going to be the obvious step up. Is, is actually no, from there is going to be the obvious step up, isn't it? So to there. Um, we'll put that in, and we'll get rid of all of these trees that clip it. I did think that the trees disappeared, but they don't seem to, do they? Uh, all right, so entrance. Let's do entrance there. So if we do the queue and the exit there, <clears throat> there we go. And then we'll get a path. Um, do 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 do. I want to copy that one. There we go. Uh, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. we're going up there. That's not that's no good. But I tell you what, we will do. Let's do. Let's do something like that. Very rarely do we do tunneled paths. Uh, oh, that's not what I was at all. Somebody ah, somebody did mention actually the underwater uh, tubes look pretty good. <gasps> yeah, they do look. The thing is, they don't. We're not very deep underground, are we? It's only that little bit there, pretty much. They would do it unless. Hold on, how how high up? Ooh. Oh, I'm tempted. Tempted to have an underwater path. It's just because it's not something we've done before, is it? Oh, that's Q. We're on there, though, isn't it? There we go. Uh, why have we got no screen? Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do an underwater path. Okay. Uh, hold on, we, hold on. This is going to take a little bit of planning now, isn't it? Because we've got to get one up to this ride and then down from this ride. So let's um, let's let's sort that out first. There we go. So that's kind of be where that's got to go. Yeah. Okay. And then we need to get to it from here. So if we keep if we actually keep that low. Right, so if we keep that there, we're going to have to go back one. Alright, does that... Okay, so that links to the right... Okay, so actually, I think rather than... Oh, do we come off that ride into the water? Maybe we... Oh, it's tough, isn't it? I think we come off that ride into the water. Okay, so from there, then... Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. We're not actually much under the water there, but I I think it's okay. I mean, we could go, we could go right under like that. But I think actually sticking out a little is pretty neat. Oh yeah, there we go. And then that's gonna be eventually something. Oh look, that's neat underwater tunnel. I'm talking about it. I'm all about it. Okay. Um, and we've got a bit of a tunnel over here as well, which is interesting. All right, this is really not where I thought we were going to go this episode, but I, I'm okay with it. That's the middle, so let's make you white. Let's make you the like a bluey color. There we go. And I don't really know where you are. Oh, you're in the middle there. Okay, so you can be quite a darker blue, and you can be uh, like a, a real icy blue. There we go. And then lights can be um, that color okay okay um right I'm tempted then to grab how wide is that it's one it's four wide I'm going to grab one of them and throw it in like here because then we can run the, the backstage down here and cover it all up nicely. Okay, let's go. Let's um, rectangle selection. Like that. And then we go to here and add bits in. I uh, don't need you. Okay, create. Uh, chili shops okay 
And if we search here for chili shops, does it really give us anything silly? Oh, we've got a piece of fence that just needs to come out, but other than that, we're okay. Um, so what I'm thinking is if we stick it here, there we go, then the toilet, yeah, that's perfect because the toilets don't need pathing, do they? So underneath them. So that actually works out rather nice. Uh, okay. So the only thing we really need to do is join up the back the back of it, which we'll do with the staff only path coming from. Uh, I mean, look at that! It does it for you. Boom! Just get rid of that bit of fence. Okay, and all this fence. This is from where the the path did sit originally. Um. All right, and then a few trees need to clear. Uh, that one. Okay. So first things first, then let's get the let's get that covered off a little. We'll just use this one, I think. And that should be enough there, right? Um, let's have a look at the decoration. Okay, no major red here is major red because it can all of it can see this. So we're just going to have to we're just going to have to fence the hell out of it, aren't we? As an area. Um, Let's hope it's a, it's enough. Yeah, there you go. Really, is kind of kind of crazy. It's a it's a good mechanic. It really is a good mechanic. I actually, I know I slated it, but it is actually I think a really good way of doing it to make it matter. You know. Um. Okay, that'll do for now. We might finish off that last little bit if we need to, but for now that's okay. Actually, uh, those trees are gonna have to go. And um, we'll turn off visualization for a minute. Okay. Oh, the other thing is as well, somebody very uh, nicely pointed out that you can grab the color of something. Actually, let's grab the actual color of the entrance there. And you can paint. You can actually paint the entrance and exit to the right. The exit, it's just as the little things there. But the entrance actually paints most of it apart from the desk, which is pretty neat. So you can really get, you can really tie them into the, to the queue. Thanks for that. I didn't know that. Um, got a couple of you mentioned that actually, so yeah, thank you. Uh, all right, let's grab this piece. I want to figure out what we're going to do with it. I guess we're going to have to make it so that that doesn't clip, isn't it? So that's pretty much where it's got to go. I mean, actually, it could it could clip. It wouldn't fuss me too much if it didn't, but. I think in the grand scheme of things that's probably the better bet okay get rid of that um we need that we need some of that path we didn't do that before on the twister which is fine but i do want to i do want to keep it running here as a uh, as a thing and then uh these roof pieces need to go a bit higher up than they make it six. Oh, hello there we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. Right, other thing we have to do is put all those pipes in, so that'll take a minute, so I'll do a quick cut. Right, there we go, done and open. So that's ready to go yet, now then the only thing we really need to do is keep a, uh, keep a sign on here saying no entry, just until we've got something over here. What we are going to do though is come into research, we're going to start researching coasters because we need a funky coaster for next episode because at the moment we've got the bobsleigh and we've got the wild mouse and we built the bobsleigh and it's average at best. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's pretty good, but um but we could uh we could have a nicer option, you know. This thing here, let's put some music on it. I always feel like the twisters need music. There you go. There we go. Otherwise, I think we're doing okay now. People are coming in. It, the number's going down. Let's have a look see if that actually stops. Have we got something going on? The ride will have an increase in customers for a time. Okay, that's fine. The number is going down. A group of vandals is roaming the park. Right then. Let's have a quick look at these vandals before we clear off. There's a bench. So, first of all, let's hire... A uh, member of security. Apparently, we can. You can fix these. Um, 
There, there, look there, you one. Get out of my park. Um. So it really is that there's one as well. Look at the state of you. I think you won. You know, have you or have you just got a beard? No, I think you've just got a beard actually. Yeah, you've just got a beard. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, you look like a vandal. Yeah, okay. Vandalizing. As we sp as we speak, they are vandalizing. Oh my god, I'm furious. There's one. Get out of my park. There we go. Now, when it says there's a group roaming, where, what's a group? That's three we found. I think that might be it. Um, and yeah, but can we? Apparently, there's a way to fix it. Do we? Do we just drop a drop a mechanic on it? I guess. Let's see what happens when we drop a mechanic on it. Oh yeah, he's he's doing a great job there. Good stuff. Okay, come here. You fix that one as well. Perfect. Have you, are you leaving? No, no, no. You just leave. In fact, I'll do it for you, mate. I'll let you out. There you go. Um, everyone else leaving, yeah? There's one. Look, look, you're not leaving. Get out. You, you, you there. Get out. I know I don't have to do this, but I just, I feel like I should. There we go. Um, I've just realised something. I just saw a member of staff then looking all miserable. Realise we didn't haven't put a staff room down, but luckily one off it, almost perfectly there actually, so that's fine. Get to it, put you back into it and all that. Uh, here I feel like we should have something, probably just trees though. Oh no, actually let's do a little bit of a uh, a, a, a thing a vignette. I like that word. I've used that word a lot lately. I noticed that. I have I have I do that though. I've always done that. I have a phase of I'll learn a new word. It's not that I've just learned the word vignette, but I'll get a word in my head and I just I find myself using it a lot. Like um a vignette is one definitely one at the minute. And also um uh, um oh god, I was I was corrected on a video a little while ago. I pronounced it wrong. Uh Grandiose, yeah, grandiose. That's a good word at the moment. I kind of go through phases of words like that. Um, superfluous. That was that was one I definitely went through a phase of saying all the time, uh, even if it was superfluous to use the words. I would say superfluous. Um, can you colour these trees? I wonder whether whether like a um, a real like murky murky green would be better. I probably would, but can we go around and colour every tree? The good thing is, if you click a tree and hold it down, it will only paint other trees, which is pretty good. So let's just do like a selection of them. They, 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 it doesn't look right now. Now I've now I've started. It is that's definitely green, isn't it? Yeah, I'm in the right area. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So some of them are a bit. A bit grimmer. Uh, okay, cool. I think we need another hauler. It seems like the haulers are, are struggling a little. Wandering around. Oh, one of them's taking a break. Well, that's fair, I suppose. We have a coaster researching, so next episode, whatever that coaster is, we'll build it. Whatever it is. That's going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, look, people are queuing for this now. They weren't queuing so much before. So, um, I want to go on it, and it was awesome. Well, that's good. Somebody said as well something about like three times the excitement rate, like 750, so I could charge like 20, 15 or something for that. I've got it at 12 at the moment. They don't seem to be too fussed about it. Um, all right, cool. Well, we'll leave it there. Um, it's quite, this ended up being quite a, oh no, no, it's not too long. It's, it's about right for an episode, actually. Um, but yeah, through the, through the, uh, the water tunnel, We'll most likely build a coaster over here next episode, whatever it is that gets researched. Um, and hopefully that'll be enough to, to push us over the edge regarding people. Why is nobody coming up here? Oh my god, you you! I know you've been screaming at me. I know you've been screaming at me about that. Oh, what an idiot. I mean, it's good that the fences work. <laughs> but wow, let's see if people start heading up there. 
Yeah. Okay. All right, good stuff. There we go. Oh, God, I'm so glad I caught that because otherwise all the comments would have been about it. Uh, now you'll know if there's any comments in the in the description in the video about uh, me having a fence there, you'll know they didn't get to the end. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. If you fancy a chat, you can find me at Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description um what else oh yeah thanks to all of our <laughs> patrons i got confused then seeing that uh, thanks to all of our um seven vandals seven vandals i'm gonna go on a vandal hunt in a moment um thank you so much for uh for all the generous support on patreon you can uh, follow um the info there at patreon.com slash geekism and, uh, and uh, don't forget to check out our affiliate links i'll see you in the next one i'm just waffling now aren't i i'm on a bandit bandit quest you, Gail Wood, get out of my park. Oh, that's, that's, oh, can you put him in the water? Oh, God, I've got to go. See you later.